Ministry of Motor Law has created a new pothole patching contract which includes a guarantee that the patches will last at least 30 days. According to CBC News, Montreal and the top of the program is on March 21st. If it is within 30 days, they will be performed at the lowest extra charge to the city, which would amount to savings of 70% over the previous year. In the past, boroughs were responsible for deciding which potholes would be repaired, but as of this year, the city will now fix major arteries first. After six suicides in two months and 140 attempts in the past two weeks, the Cross Lake Creek community of Manitoba has declared a state of emergency. According to Reuters, the community appealed to federal aid on Thursday in the hope that qualified short-term health workers will address the suicides and self-harm attempts. Acting Chief Shirley Robinson says that while the community has access to nurses, doctors, teachers and local clergy to confront the problem, there is not enough help. The federal government promised to tackle the issues of poverty, crime, health and missing and murdered Aboriginal women in the Indigenous communities in December. Police reveals it has received more than 20,000 files listing the personal data of ISIS members. According to the documents were obtained at the border between Syria and Turkey from a member of the Islamic Association. The files also contain details regarding bureaucratic work as well as identities and sponsors of foreign born recruits. While the German government believes the information to be authentic, some scholars urge caution, noting that the leak could be an effort to engage intelligence services worldwide and aim to distribute planted information. To hear the newscast and learn more about the news team, visit cblo.com slash news.